Old Town has become a bit of a Tory safe haven for years, yeah, and as a consequence, when it's a single party that has the voice of the electorate, when they don't engage with you, then as a community, we don't have a voice. So my opinion is that one single party getting all the seats in the ward is bad for democracy. Okay, yeah, we but best keep this question wrong. That, that, was, that was a context. And so the question is, to, these, to the new candidates that are moving to the safe haven seat, so it's the councillor Blue and Mr. Mallinson, a question each, which I'm sure they can answer in 30 seconds. One is, why should we vote for a person who is deserting his current ward? That's the councillor Blue. Why do you deserve a vote? And to Mr. Mallinson, it's why should we vote for someone who was rejected by his last ward? Well, firstly, I am bitterly disappointed to be not representing my own ward in future because I've actually built up extremely good relationships over there and I've worked hard in that ward. Um, I think we have got a massive boundary reorganisation going on and every party is having to reorganise its candidates within those boundaries. Uh, I have felt that I am an Old Town resident and it was decided that I should uh, come back to Old Town or the suggestion was I should come back to Old Town to be part of the community in which I feel I live. And that's the justification I have for standing as an Old Town candidate. I, I, if I was standing for West Swindon or if I was standing for Abbey Meads or anywhere else, I would still see my duty to work as hard as I possibly could for the residents of that area. So it's not about geography to me, it's about getting stuck in and trying to solve the issues and try and help you know, all of the residents feel engage, you know, the right sort of engagement is going on. I like engagement, I don't like being in the bunker down at Euclid Street. I do actually like getting out and meeting people and discussing real issues. But you live in the heart of Escort, stand there. You're talking again. You've never prevented you. Uh, right, if I can just say that um, I'll go on the rejection part of it about being rejected by the ward. Um, I, I represented the ward that I was rejected from for six years. Uh, prior to that I was with another ward for two years and prior to that I lived in Malmesbury and represented the Malmesbury Borough for four years. I've had about 12 years. Now, when you go into local politics, nothing is safe. You're not, you're not safe at all or anything. <coughs> Sometimes things happen that you have no control over that affect you personally or affect your party or whatever. You can do very, very little about that. And it is really uh, resilience that keeps people going and keeps people coming to be politicians. If you haven't got resilience, you shouldn't be in politics. You shouldn't be in politics at all. As far as I'm concerned, I'm a hands-on politician. I'm a hands-on councillor. I get in there, I'll roll my sleeves up. Uh, if I could do, I've not spoken at all. Can I be giving you very slightly long? Can I just be giving you a little, a little bit of leeway in this? Um, whilst I was in Walcott, I did an awful lot for the ward. I, I rolled my sleeves up and got on with it. I saved their library from closure. I ran their, their charity shop. In fact, I still do run their charity shop, which is an award-winning charity shop. We won an award. Um, I am still working even now in that ward, running the library, running the charity shop. I've always been like this, this is what I do. I get involved in my local community and I serve them to the best of my ability. And I continue to do so. There are many things I've done in Walcott. It just happened to be that at a particular time, a particular thing came around. Okay. Most people know about it, that's why I was... Why are you standing in Old Town then? Why am I standing in Old Town? Right, um, I don't know whether you, any of you know how candidates are selected. Uh, it isn't the case... It sounds like it's going to be a long conversation. Yeah. Can I can you after the meeting? Yeah. 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 If, if you want to talk about it, I'll talk about it over a cup of tea. Yeah. Yeah. Right, yes. one final question then, from, from the floor. And then we'll stop. Is it working? Is it working? Is it working? Hello? Thank you. Yeah, this is a question for Councillor Blue, just on the back of what he's just said, uh, in that he wants to represent where he lives. So why isn't he standing in Esker instead of Old Town? Good question. <laughs> 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 
it's almost the same question that we've just had because ward, ward selections are not individual choices always. There's a there's a party process and people get allocated. But I you know I don't think artificial boundaries. We've had enough of artificial boundaries with the latest reorganisation. It hasn't respected local communities. I regard myself as an old town resident. The fact that I live 50 metres across the border, I don't think changes my ability to be a good councillor for old town. It's as simple as that. So what did you choose?